You will learn in this lightboard session about the Azure firewall that can log and control the traffic from the virtual machines and the Azure workloads to enable the zero trust network access to implement a more secure model. Within an Azure virtual network, the network is open, so all virtual machines or all workloads can communicate with each other. We can limit and control that network traffic through using an NSG network security group that operates on layer 7, it means can control that traffic based on the source and destination IP addresses and port numbers and the protocol. So that control the traffic between virtual workloads within the same VNet, within virtual network peerings, or it can also limit that traffic that is going to the internet. So it can allow for outbound or inbound traffic to some specific IP addresses. Now what if what I want to do is that I want to deny all access to the internet and allow access only for github.com for example. One solution is that I can get the IP addresses behind github.com but I know those IP addresses are always changing so it would be a challenge for me to update my NSG rules to reflect those IP changes. It would be better for me to get a solution like the NSG but that operates on layer 7 where I can filter based it on FQDNs and the sol that solution exists, which is the Azure Firewall. So I can implement an Azure Firewall into my network to filter that incoming and outgoing traffic. That firewall could be implemented within the same virtual network where I have my workloads, or if we are using the hub and spoke model, it would be better actually to share that firewall as a network component within the hub network. That means I would have here another network, let's say that's the hub network, at the end it's a virtual network but it will act as the hub and those are will be the spokes so this is a spoke subnet and the spokes are connected to, to the hub network through vnet peering that will allow for communication on both sides and because this is a hub so it would be connected to one or multiple subnet spokes that means I can have here another virtual network that would be also peered with the hub network Let's say again, this is our spoke VNet and it would be also peered with the hub. And again, I might have another subnet right here where I have my workloads or my virtual machines. Again, I'm talking about virtual machines, but this could be any workload type like AKS or Azure container apps or database web apps or Azure functions, any type of uh, Azure workloads that is attached to the virtual network. So then the NVA or our firewall, call it also NVA network virtual appliance, like Azure firewall, would live from within the hub network, so it would be shared for all the spokes that are attached or peered to the hub network. So now to be able to filter the traffic of those virtual machines within the different spokes through the Azure firewall, I need to force the egress traffic of those workloads to go through the Azure firewall. And to do that, we'll be using another component in Azure that is called route table. A route table would be attached to a subnet, to each subnet right here, and it will define a rule that will say, for example, filter or forward or the traffic slash zero to the firewall IP address. Here, this firewall, of course, would have a private IP address within the network in addition to its public IP. Here we want to route all the egress traffic to that private IP address of that firewall. And because those two networks are connected through the peering, so that network traffic will go through the peering and then it will go to the Azure firewall. Here inside the Azure firewall, we can control that traffic to allow it or to deny it to access to some other resources. And that would be done through using a firewall policy. What is a firewall policy? That is a configuration that it will be attached to the Azure firewall. And inside that configuration, we can define rules, for example, that say allow access to github.com, for example. So that all the egress traffic that wants to access to github.com, it will be allowed and it will go to github.com through the Azure firewall. So it can filter the egress traffic that is going to the internet through the FQDN. Note here how we are specifying github.com instead of relying on an IP address like what we do with an NSG network security group. Another feature of the Azure firewall is that we can use it as a proxy. So we know that virtual network peering is not transitive. It can connect to the immediate VNet peering. It means that this subnet can connect to resources within this VNet, but it cannot connect to another spoke that is not directly peered to that VNet. So that if we want to enable that scenario, then we'll be using again the Azure Firewall DNS proxy 
or the proxies so that the communication from this spoke virtual machines to another spoke will go to traverse the Azure firewall. And again, we can go to control and filter that traffic. So we can define another firewall policy that say, for example, allow spoke one to spoke two. And this time it will rely on the side range IP address of the spoke two and the one of the spoke one, and then it, it can go to allow it or deny it. With the hub and spoke model, typically all the spokes would have actually a route table that it attached to its subnets that will go to route the traffic to the Azure firewall. 